Well, hi there and welcome to another video here on the Black Sound Relationship Academy. Today, I will be talking about how to maintain your standards without scaring him off. I know that's not something that a black swan would worry about, but let's talk about it because this does come up quite a lot within our practice. So I'll be back right after this. Welcome back to the Black Sound Relationship Academy. My name is Eunice Wanda. I am your head coach and style concierge right here on the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Before I go ahead, do like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel where we bring you information and, and, and talk about the things that concern you the most when it comes to your relationships. So my speciality is really how to get you that guy that you want and how to help you level up and transform into the woman that you really want to be to be able to attract that high value high developed man into your life and live the life of your dreams so today we're talking about um how your high standards can scare off a man i mean some of you know already what i'm gonna say but i'm gonna say it anyway if someone is scared of higher standards they shouldn't be in your life in the first place but just for the sake of those who have not heard me speak before, let's reiterate. A black swan has high standards for a reason. We have high standards because we don't want certain people in our lives, right? Now, I kind of wrote down a few things so that I don't veer off because we know we normally do we kind of veer off and we start talking about other things because um, there's so much to talk about, right? So basically, a woman with high standards is a woman who knows how to accept her flaws and make up for them. She does not create a facade to hide them. Instead, she allows people to know that she has some weaknesses that she is working on. She uses this quality to encourage other people who don't want to accept their flaws. Now, a person, a woman with standards, really in this case, a black swan, with standards within a relationship, these are the things you expect within a relationship from a man that you are courting, that get in a relationship with and you're building something with. You expect honesty, trustworthiness and faithfulness. And that is within a relationship that is exclusive. So if you were dating, these are the expectations that you'd let your man know that you expect to trust the man. You expect him to be honest and you expect faithfulness. Because really you are working towards getting into a monogamous exclusive relationship with this man you need to feel safe with this person you need to feel safe and when you trust someone you feel safe the person must practice good self-care and not engage in unhealthy and destructive behaviors the person must have ambition and goals and be success oriented whatever that means within your mind success could mean just being able to be there and show up for your partner Success could mean building a home together. Success could mean having children, doing all the lovely things you're traveling, and both of you achieving your goals. Standards are not about the flowers that we request, the, the, the little things that are really, I would say, low level for dating, right? We're talking about high level women, high quality women, high, really black swans. We do have a high level of standards. And we do have this high level of standards because we know how we function in relationships. Because we know we give 100, we are understanding, we are caring, we're nurturing. We know that we allow this man to, to have a safe space in where he can lay his head down and dream his dreams and we help him build his goals and we're there, we're submissive. But we can only be submissive to a man that we feel safe around which is why we build this, that we have this standard in the first place, so that we are not caught out in a place or with a man that is not able to meet them. But when someone is not able to meet these standards, of course they will be scared of. Of course they will not see it as um, not just a challenge, but they'll see it as a threat and they will play games. 
and that is what is to protect you ladies is we don't want these men who play games now i'll be back right after this because really what you need to do is download the app so we can talk more and you can book your calls and let's talk about the standards that you want to raise within your relationship i'll be back right after this simple steps to join black swan community Download the Black Swan app from either Google Play Store or Apple Store. Launch the app and tap on register. Put in your valid information, then tap and continue. Put in the verification code sent to your email to authenticate your account. Then log in to your account. Be sure to accept all permissions displayed at installation stage to enjoy all the cool features in the app. You can now enjoy a community of high-value women with support from coaches and trainers. Book calls with coaches, chat, post, and interact with the community. Enjoy! Hello and welcome back to the Black Sun Relationship Academy. My name is Yunis Sibanda. I am your head coach and style concierge right here on the Black Swan Relationship Academy. So let's just pick off where we left off. So I had two studies that I will bring up in this context. I will also put them in the description box below. If you have any questions, put them in the description box and let's talk about your issues. So the two studies that I will refer to that really spoke about standards were by um, James McNulty at Florida State University, where he recruited 135 newlyweds and did a bit of a study to find out about whether these standards or having standards really meant anything to the relationship for solid relationships as in couples who reported less serious problems or who interacted in more positive ways with each other high standards were correlated with happier relationships as the years went by for the less solid relationships on the other hand the opposite was true. After watching all of these se sessions, McNulty identified one thing in particular that appears to be a relationship killer, passive aggression, and we'll get into that. The couple who directly addresses their problems tended to have happier relationships even if that confrontation was sometimes tinged with anger. So when we do not have standards that we ourselves are able to uphold, we become passive aggressive when people don't uphold our own standards or our expectations because we're not able to vocalize what we expect from others and what they expect from us. So when we're not able to vocalize, we become passive aggressive and we'll say things, well, I haven't seen any flowers from you lately, <laughs> which is very passive aggressive. Instead of saying, darling, I really would appreciate it if you bought me flowers. They really make me feel loved, make me feel seen. And, you know, they're beautiful and I'd love to have something beautiful that comes from you. That is setting a standard in a beautiful way and saying that this is what I expect, this is what I like, and I would really appreciate it if you did this for me. Same with the, the, the reciprocating of such standards. High value women are not afraid for a man to ask for what they need from us. Because we know if we're not able to do it, we will vocalize and say, I'm really sorry, honey, I would not be able to do this. Is there any other way we could see we can meet that need for you? It's all about conversation. When you don't talk, you bottle up and you build up this anger. And this is where the passive aggression comes from because you're trying to communicate that you want something from your partner, but it's not coming through. So we need to use our words, ladies, which is why I encourage you to join, join the, the Black Swans on our app, which was the app that's just gone by. Download the app right now. It's available both on Android as well as Apple. Let's talk about how to have those conversations, how to vocal, vocalize the things that you want within a relationship. Now, the second study that I will refer to was by Dr. Donald Bukum <laughs> of Bacon. Sorry if I butchered the name. A psychology professor at the University of North Carolina. So he studied um, marital expectations for a decade. He found that people get what they expect. People with low expectations tend to be in relationships where they are treated poorly and people with higher expectations 
tend to be in relationships where they are treated well. By having high standards, but still realistic standards, we are far more likely to achieve the kind of relationship that we want and that we are seeking for. So we are far more likely to achieve the kind of relationship that we want than looking the other way and letting things slide. So having standards means that you will call up someone who is not meeting that standard and you will make it known. You will not be aggressive, passive or aggressive that is. You will not have sly comments about, well, you know, you should really know this. Like the study said, we all get what we expect. If you don't expect much from relationships, you are not going to get much. If you do not expect much from your partner, you are not going to be able to vocalize anything. So you will not get much back. So having high standards means that you are able to get what you expect. If you expect flowers, vocalize that you expect flowers. Men are not mind readers. They will not, I mean, neither are women, right? We're not mind readers. Men are not mind readers. So we have to understand that when you want something, you say it just in as much as in a job position, when you want something from your workplace you vocalize and you want the permission you talk about it when you want a raise you talk about it when it's time for your appraisal you mention to your your boss you mention to your supervisor that you'd really like to go for a certain role you speak to your boss and they assess that to see if you are capable so with that said ladies there is a way to set standards not in a rude way not in a way that is putting off there's a way and also this translates into your energy your energy once you have set your standards but know that you should also be able to meet those standards for yourself if you're setting a standard to say you want an honest man around you you need to be honest if you're saying you want someone who's trustworthy you also need to be trustworthy because you will only attract what you are intrinsically right so if any of this any of this what i've said to you right now has resonated with you definitely book a discovery call with me let's talk about how to translate your standards into something you can tell your partner how to verbally say and speak what you want to say to your partner in a feminine and non-threatening way how to actually state your standards so that men are not scared of and sometimes it's not that men are scared of because they can see we have standards it's only because we don't know how to say those standards and put them across in a way that can be received in the genuineness that you meant it with that said my love is you take care of you if you want to get in touch with me all my links are in the description box below and hopefully see you on another video or on a discovery call and better yet on one of our hourly sessions when you become one of my clients and i will see you in the next video but do take care of yourself let's meet again in the app download it go and download it now before you end the video just go and download it before you even listen to the end advert go and download it and i'll see you later have a lovely day my love you well done for coming to the end of this video what i want to ask you is what have you learned what is your takeaway and what are you going to start practicing right away those three things are how you are going to get the best out of every class here at the black swan relationship academy please put it in the comments so that we can all have a look so i can have a look the coaches can have a look and i promise you we read every comment we may not be able to reply to every comment but we read all your comments and we want to see how you were growing and we will see you on the next video